happy women's month i hope you had a great weekend that has just ended we are still in the women's month and we are talking about women discussing everything concerning women and today we are featuring a distinguished woman an achiever by all standards in the sciences sector we are delighted because it's not easy to get women who are scientists in this sector and today I would like to inspire another budding scientist and a young woman out there and to share the challenges in that sector and how women can impact and, uh, you, know, in, you know, sanitize the sciences sector. So I'd like to welcome Dr. Madina Adia, a chemistry lecturer as well as a former athlete. But I think there is more that I haven't had. <laughs> and I'll start from there. You're welcome, Doctor. Thank you, Monica. Yes. I'm mm -hmm. glad to be here. Mm. Yeah, it's true. I'm a lecturer at mm. Makere University. Mm. And I'm lecturing in chemistry. So, as a woman, and being in the Women's Month, mm. actually, I celebrated myself this month on Women's on Day. Eight. Yes, I had a blast. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> I posted pictures of me mm -hmm. uh, graduating with a PhD uh, when I was wearing my gown Wow. on my uh, status. Wow. So, as women, yes, we can achieve more. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think what man can do, a woman can, a woman do. can do better. You're going to tell us more about that, yes. especially in the sciences sector. Yes. When I look at you, I see you are coming from Mars because growing up, for me, mm. sciences was like a no-go area. Uh, I, I, I just want to capture a little bit of that upbringing of yours uh, because it helps us to know how you positioned yourself. Is there something else that we don't know about you growing up? You maybe, know, maybe. From which village in Arua? <laughs> No, 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 by the way, yes. my, my other name, Adia, yes, yes. Uh, it happens to be, I think people in Arua use it. Use it a as lot. A I was associating it there. Yes, mm. but mine is Islam, incidentally. Oh. Yes. Okay. I am a Musoga mm. by tribe, mm. and I grew up in Imbulamti. Yes, yes. Kamuli there. Imagine. Yes. So, I, had, I have a surname. My surname is Nachisui. But you know, when we're in primary, before we registered for P7, there were so many N's. Eh? So I was like, ah, I want a, a, a unique session name. number, mm, which is nearby. Ah. So I made the idea to be like my son and my oh, name, my dinner, as a Christian okay. name. So since that's what I use on paper, it has stayed like it that. It has stayed like that because as you advancing in academia, mm, you, you don't need to keep changing names here right, and there. Right. Even as I talk now, yes, I'm no longer Muslim. Mm -hmm. But uh, my documents carry that. So I'm also a.k.a. Madrin Makanga. Oh, you see? That's what <laughs> yes. you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> my Quite husband is an engineer. Mm. He's called Mr. Makanga Paul. He okay. works with the Kakira Sugar. Mm. Mm. So that is mm. the other bit that you didn't know about me. And yeah. I'm a mother of four. A mother of four. One girl and three boys. Three boys. Yes. Wonderful. Fifteen yes. mm. and one. Wow. The, the oldest is 15, the girl. Wow. The youngest boy is one year. You see, I had placed you in Arua because of the name. Yes. <laughs> or West Nile region. Yeah, somewhere. but I love Arua. I've ever been there for research yeah. and so on. Wonderful. So I grew up in Imblamti with uh, my grandmom, uh -huh. Matano. Uh -huh. I never grew up with my dad or, or mom. Wow. Because I've never experienced that life of mother, father mm. together. I was, I was born and then... Uh, I was brought up by my maternal grandmother. Wow. So, because she was a widow and she was fighting hard to see me through education, mm. she was one of my inspirations, although for her she was not educated. I think she went like up to P1, P2, and my mom also did not study P1, P2, and so she was like, I wanted to educate your mom because me, I never got a chance to go to school, mm. but she disappointed, she disappointed me. You. So, I want you to really achieve. So she was always in my neck. You have to read hard. I know you can. I know you can. Wait a bit. You'll find these men. You'll find them. You'll even get them more, more after ahead. you. After, yes. After I've achieved. So I listened to her. 
Uh, and uh, I completed P7 from Bulamuti Primary School. It's unbelievable. Because yes. when I visit in Bulamuti, it looks a very remote <laughs> village. <laughs> but that's where our speaker comes from. I Actually, know. her mom taught me in P1. Mm -hmm. yes. And getting such great women from you. I'm just yes. looking at you and so. wondering what opportunities you <laughs> had growing up as a child. Yeah, so again, actually, the speaker, we were not friends. I think we've never talked, but somehow she was also my inspiration. Mm -hmm. I, I was always looking forward to achieve and also be seen somewhere mm -hmm. as a woman from that same village. Wow. Because she would come to visit when I was in primary, would perform mm -hmm. and she would give us gifts mm -hmm. and what, but I was always looking forward like, when will I also go somewhere? And to then, that level. Uh, to that level. You see the importance of inspiration and models. Yes. So I got, I, I remember I, go, I scored eight mm -hmm. in PLE mm. and it was a celebration in, in the, the whole village. <laughs> <laughs> a girl. Yes, a girl. Yeah. <laughs> of course, that year we were like five first grades, but the other, the other one more was a girl and the other three were boys. Mm, mm, so, but mm. that other girl actually, we made it to the university together. Together. With her. Although for her, she went in for arts. Uh, yes. Yes. So yes. that's where I finished my primary from. Did you join any other school outside there? Because yes. we are trying to capture yes. understanding how this scientist um, was made. So for, after P7, I went to PMM Girls School, Ginger. Uh, why Raka? No, Ginger. Ginger, yes, Ginger yes. Girls. Ginger Girls. Yes. Mm. It's now called PMM Girls School. Mm. That's why I did. Uh, that's why I was from Senior and Senior 4. But we also had an Australian HM. She was called Mrs. Magon. Actually, she's still alive, but mm. retired. And we are with her on the board, actually. I was right now elected now. Yes, wow. as a representative on the board of the school for the old girls. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I did my all level from there. But again, there, we had some competition, of course. And she used to inspire us the best 10 Girls. Yes, we were only students. girls. Mm. But the best thing we always take home a, a gift. Wow. Because we were around 300 plus uh -huh. in the whole class. Uh -huh. And we had six streams. Okay. So she had put us, we were in two streams, like from the best to the worst. Mm -hmm. Maybe. But I was in stream A, mm. which was referred to as a sun stream, mm -hmm. A and B. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So every time, every time, I would make sure you I get take a gift. A gift. To yes, your grandmother. <laughs> Mother, <laughs> yes. Because all the holidays I'm back in Imblam. Mm. I was a day scholar. Yeah. I was not in the hostel. Mm. I was living with my maternal in aunt. ginger. Yes. In and ginger. imagine such circumstances. And yes, you are still uh, able to perform mm -hmm. well. Mm. Actually, things like math, chemistry, physics, I used to understand right from the board when Ooh. the teacher was teaching. Ooh. And it helped me actually. I was a day scholar. But my friends would come home, help me to do some chores. We finish early and now. go and discuss. Yes, and go and discuss. Wow, wow. Then from there, that's when I got a scholarship. But and along the way, actually, right from primary, I started doing athletics in P5. I was going to ask you that question that yes. how does athletics come? Uh -huh. in, you know, I started doing athletics in P5. I had a passion and I was very good at sprinting. Mm. Imagine in P5, wow. but I would beat people who are, who are in P7. So you've Through had sprinting. two constant passions in life. Yes. Sciences and, and athletics. athletics. Yes. Actually, I did athletics up to the university. Up to the university. I'm mm. sure you're still very fit. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I'm no longer fit. Actually, at the moment I stopped athletics, I gained weight. But they say, actually, those two are combined, athletics and academics. When you pair in both, your mm. brain is also smart. So I was always active. Mm. Even in Ginger Girls, PMM now, I used to do both athletics and, mm. Mm. yes, and we would compete in the Bugembe Stadium there. Mm. Then after I would represent our district to post primaries in various districts. And I came to get exposed, mm. especially to these girls who are in Makere College. I used to admire them. There was a P.O. Mary, there was Vyga Justin, they were all sprinters. And I was like, when will I ever beat these girls? Mm. I used to be always like the third mm -hmm. from Ginger. Mm -hmm. But I remember one time when I was in Senior 5 in 1997, we had post primaries in Bombo Barracks. That was my first time to beat a P.O. Mary. In 100 meters and even in 200 meters. Sprint. Right from, yes, semi finals and finals. 
but I failed to beat Vaig. <laughs> I would be ahead, but she had eh, like she had more, more gas speed than me. And gas uh, actually, she would yes, finishing speed. Ah. She would beat me in the, like in the last ten meters. But it was up to that time that I was I even made an eleven point nine seconds. Wow! In a hundred meters. Wow! In a hundred. The yes. fastest man in the world was <laughs> was at what? He has made the nine. I don't see by nine, nine and what the men, yeah. And the ladies are in ten, in ten. seconds. Mm. So it was that time that I even started representing the national team. Mm -hmm. I was once in a national team with the Izukuru. Ooh. Actually, she's my personal friend. Ooh. Although recently, I think I misplaced her number. Mm. But she, she would meet me and like you put on a lot of weight. What happened? <laughs> but I guess I even baby her bumps. now she has put on baby bumps. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm. So. Mm. Mm. Athletics, after senior four, you know, Kakira Sugar took me up. Mm. They gave me a scholarship mm -hmm. because I had athletics and, and I then academics academic. as well. Yes, so I went there and did PCB mm -hmm. some at math. A level. At A level. Where now? Which school? Kakira was that? SS. Ah, yes. PCB. Some math. Wow. A day school, but I, they got me a boys' quarter in the teachers' quarters uh -huh. because I didn't have relatives in Kakira, actually. Wow. So uh, there I was a leader, I was the head girl, I was the sports prefect and so on. And you had because, everything. And then they had everything that you needed to run. That was my first time to run into spikes. Mm. So just to run barefooted. Barefooted. Yes. Knocking and you know spikes make you run faster. faster. Mm -hmm. And you would always, they would always take us for trials in Nambole. That's when I started running on Tatan and wow, so on. Wow. And that's when I met in Zukuru and so on. Uh, so after there, I went to Makere on government merit. I scored po the 14 points. points. Uh -huh. But because I had also the four the points. Sports, the four points. For you being on the national eight. team. That was multiplying. Yes. Mm. But you know, do you think of applying for courses? I wanted to be a medical doctor, a pharmacy, mm -hmm. put medicine, pharmacy. Mm -hmm. Like you've not put anything like education, agriculture. They just so, give you what they want. So I'd put my last choice as BSc science. Yes. yes. Chemistry, physiology, botany. Mm. And that's what I went for. Do you regret that? I don't. Really? That time when I just reported, of course, I yeah, was I like, ah, but, mm -hmm. but science, they call it, is it Bachelor of... Uh, a flat science. Something, That's yes. what they would say. Uh, yeah. But now you're like, teaching. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Actually, there's a lecturer, late in Pango. He talked to us. Mm, about it. Yes, he mm. said, I know mm. you people, when you come for science, yeah. like you you feel you, you're not anywhere. But you know, when you are into science, then you are into academia. Mm. So you just aim higher, pass with the first class or second upper. Mm. You come, do your master's, do your PhD. You'll finally be a doctor, but of PhD, but a PhD. not a doctor. But teaching, of, yes. teaching doc, uh, yes. the students that yes. will become doctors here and there. Here and there, but not the doctor of medicine. So I even, I even don't regret because... I remember in A level when we used to cut rats and uh, <laughs> <laughs> I used to run away from the from the what? This amphibian. Yes. The, the mammals toad. The toad. toad. Yes. There's a way it looked ugly, you know, like you have to expose it and whenever <laughs> the technician would make sure he gives me one which is still alive, such that I run around in the lab oh. making noise. <laughs> So you wouldn't do so well I just there. imagine mm. if I was a medical doctor, how well I would be a good cutting surgeon. Cutting open human know. beings, hey. you know. If I would fear to so. Doctor, I, I don't want it. to forget this issue mm. because uh, I'm just reflecting on your life from Mulamuti to mm. Makerere to the world now. Yes. It is just an ordinary experience of any other girl from a village like mine in Nyero, in Kumi Deep, mm. making it big in life. Yes. And I... Uh, uh, along the way, you've been discussing the opportunities that were presented yes. along the way for you to make it big. I just wanted you to emphasize those opportunities. You've already made mention, but mm. somebody could think that they are coming from a very poor background, bad background, and say, how will I ever make it big and compete with the other children? Mm -hmm. Yes, but I think your life is a very good case of that. <laughs> yeah. Of success. You know, when you're in the village mm. there... Yes, maybe people outside can see that you're not doing well. Mm. But for you as a child, you're mm. happy. Mm. As long as you're eating, mm -hmm. you go to school, mm. you play, mm. you have food. We used to dig with my grandma. Mm. 
So You're studying. Yes, yeah, studying. Yeah. I okay, I missed the parental love mm. of mother and father. father yes. But my grandmom tried. Yeah. She really tried. But uh, of course those so, opportunities are common. Yes. The, so, the sporting people take it for granted. Yes, but oh. in primary mm. <coughs> this I think even the man who is paid in those schools are now UP. It wasn't that much. Mm. My grandmom could afford, but I guess if somewhere she failed, maybe the school would have called me up and say, here, get a scholarship. Mm. But uh, after senior four mm -hmm. in Ginger Girls, I remember the HM uh, telling me, actually, I went back to senior five for one time, mm. but I failed to raise the money. Because mm. now I was in the hostel, and the HM was telling me, that is in Madame Magona, that uh, you can pay one bank slip. I think there were two dollars, PTA and maybe BOG. So she was saying, you pay one, then the other one, we can we can leave it. But at that time now, my grandmom was old. Mm. I couldn't afford. Wow. So I was there for one time, I even had uniform. And I was happy, I was even going to campaign for being the head, head girl. Uh, no or sports uh, prefect to apply. Actually, I was told I was voted in Abzej. When I went back to look for the balance, for the money, I never got it. So in that process, that's when I met a sports teacher. He was called Mr. Mm -hmm. of Kakeresis. Mm -hmm. Then he told me, what are you doing? Where are you? Then I told him, you know what? Mm. I'm supposed to be in S5, but no money. Wow. I'm stranded. Mm. So that is when she took me to the HM. Uh, that time the HM of Kakeresis was called Mr. Okaka. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they they tried, got me accommodation, and I got that scholarship. Wow, so wow. actually the scholarship they gave me was not, I think, due to academics, mm -hmm. but it, because I wasn't the best girl from Kimo, although I was among the top five, I mm -hmm. scored 20. Mm -hmm. But athletics. Sports. Yes. Wow. Uh, Kakira was too much into sports. Mm -hmm. So because of the athletics, uh, I got that chance. I got so, that scholarship. So what you are actually emphasizing in your mm. life story is those opportunities scattered along the way. If children can take advantage, you may yes, come from Yes, if it. you have a talent, mm. use try it. to yeah. use it. Mm. It can take you places. It can take you places. It took you up to Makerere. Even outside Uganda. You know, yes. you know, you know. So that's good. Yes. And uh, and uh, looking at you, I recall growing up when I was in my O level, uh, around about senior four in Toro Girls, and we were drawing close to the O level class, and we were supposed to do exams anytime soon. I looked at myself; I felt quite unprepared with the sciences, especially chemistry. It wasn't my favorite. Mm -hmm. I remember flowing. I would try the physics, but chemistry gave me head, hell, like a lot of hell. And I ran away from that class for about three months. I had to be cancelled <laughs> to come back to it. And we had a teacher who was a white man then. And I, I, first of all, I couldn't understand his English. And then the, the things that we had to do, the calculations, the abbreviations, and so many things, I couldn't cope. I fled. But because it was compulsory, I had to come back to the class. I just wanted you to have a discussion around the challenges uh, relating to STEM right mm. now, as you call it, mm. and uh, how the girl child, you know, how you are seeing. Are those challenges the same? Did you have those challenges? Do we still have the similar challenges right now? In my own experience as well, do we still have that? How can girls fare better in this, in this science sector? Yes, yeah. yes, the challenges are there, but uh, mainly what affects girls it's, it's the, um, should I call it the norm or the society? Society. The social values, they, the, they, they the keep perception. telling them, yeah, the perception. Mm. They keep telling girls, senses are very hard. Mm -hmm. You want to manage, right. they are for boys. Mm. Man. So mm. they go with that perception, thinking it's hard. Mm -hmm. But when you put it into you that, yes, I can, mm. 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 you can really make it. You can make because it. for us, what made us succeed we had discussion groups. Mm -hmm. We were all girls, mm -hmm. but we had discussion groups. Mm -hmm. And we would identify ourselves like, yeah, we are capable. Mm -hmm. Yes, we can. Mm -hmm. So we had our timetable. We know today we are discussing physics, tomorrow chemistry, the other day mathematics. And we, whatever you'd find hard in here, although they say sometimes girls, when they're in single girls' schools, 
some of them are selfish to each other to each other they don't share they don't share think and so? that one becomes a challenge okay but then if you really remove that concept into you mm. that things are hard mm. then you stop being mean mm -hmm. and you share because sometimes you think you know and but what you, you don't when know when someone knows better yes yeah, so when share someone knows better. knowledge so <laughs> when you share mm. you find that what you are learning from the other person right. and the other person is learning mm -hmm. from you and at the end of it all you achieve wow. your goal wow. so for us it was mainly sharing discussions looking into past papers and so on that mm. helped us mm. actually I scored a 2 in chemistry in mm. all level a 3 in physics and a 3 in biology wow so yes. also, there is and also, a two in mathematics mm. i think there is also inferiority complex as you're saying the girls you know yes. because of that perception we sometimes don't believe in ourselves yes as you don't well. believe in yourself and mm. yet you can mm. yes Yes. You can yes. because, like now, the school you are in, Toro girls, mm -hmm. they have everything. They were scientists, actually. Yes. They, they, they have a well vast lab mm -hmm. laboratories. Mm -hmm. I guess the teachers were good. Yes. So it was just in you mm -hmm. thinking that ah, things are hard. <laughs> I think I was cut out for science, for yeah. humanities. Yes. <laughs> oh, you were interested in the arts. I would also do English. I wouldn't be but I also very did easily. Also, I was passing well. English and yes, uh -huh. we were passing all. Of. You see. Yes. Okay, so I think it was an inferiority complex, not believing in myself. Yeah, I'm not and... believing. So mm. what I encourage girls, you, they should believe in themselves. Once you are exposed and you have everything there, please, you believe in yourself. After right now, we see girls. I remember before COVID year, the girls around six were taken for medicine and had scored all, almost everything. Eh, 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 eh. Now, eh, 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 then D1, D1, then from all level two, then they had 1.5. Wow. So the boys couldn't compete. Around six girls, then the seventh, the boy came in at the seventh position. Wow. Because of the advantage mm, of 1.5. 1.5 again. Yes. Wow, wow, So wow. I know mm. girls can achieve mm -hmm. if they are determined mm. and then if they stop that being mean. So basically, you are emphasizing uh, the, 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 the importance. I think also you could share a little bit why this sector is important because of late government policy seems to be saying science, science, science. So what? where do we go, the humanities and the rest? Yeah, course, why is science <laughs> that important? I mean, Of course, humanities are also important, yeah. right? Mm. But I think currently, in, uh, when we compare population and maybe statistics, mm. So many people have done humanities compared to the people who have done sciences. In Uganda. Yes, in mm -hmm. Uganda. Mm -hmm. And according to our growing population, we need to balance. We need to balance. And you know, every day, in our everyday life, everything is science. Mm. The water we drink is science. Mm -hmm. Your own body is science. Mm -hmm. The hygiene is science. Yes. So I don't blame the president saying that sciences should be emphasized. <laughs> mm. But at the same time, I still encourage him to also consider the people in the humanities, especially the teachers. The teachers. Yes, because yes. teachers are poorly paid, mm -hmm. and yet teachers make up everyone. Yes, in this all of world. us. Mm. All of you, whether you're in humanities, whether you're a scientist, the teacher has to teach you. To become the what, the, yes, what you want to what be. You want to yes, be. yes. So as you're thinking, in much as he has raised money for the scientists, I think for teachers, other sectors is okay, but for teachers, they should. They also people in the teachers in humanities should have sector. an increased mm -hmm. pay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because teachers are not living well, and yet in the future, now right now at Makere, mm -hmm. actually the children in A level. When you advise them when they're filling in job forms, most of them don't want to put education. Ah. Reason being not that they don't want to teach, but they, but they think pay. they are yes, they will they are be poor for pay. life. Mm. So in future now who will teach even the, the science, point. the so-called yeah. science, so mm. even the humanities. Mm. Mm. So since teachers make up they are the ones who make anyone to be what they are, mm. they should be considered. Mm. I'm sure you yes. are in uh, associations of uh, scientists, of women, scientists of women in technology and mathematics. How is your you know, perception now, or if you have statistics, how are we doing in terms of numbers? Yeah, as women in that sector. In yeah, that numbers area. are still very low, just like I said it. Mm. Numbers of women are still very low, mm. but... Uh, because of the encouragement now, uh, sciences are compulsory, right from senior one. And uh, we have some role models, 
I think the girls are seeing that there are some girls who are somewhere mm -hmm. through science. Mm. So because of the role models that have come up, I have a feeling with time, with time. the numbers will increase. With time. Yes. Mm -hmm. But uh, yes, working hard is very important. Working hard is very important. Yes. For every person. For, yes, for particularly every person. for girls. Yeah, even for girls. Mm. If they should focus because now when you start the things, you're there, you're there. Then you along the way, you know women will have that challenge. Mm. You will have fun with a boy or a man, but and at the end it. of the day, it is you who will be affected. When you get pregnant, you it have is you some, who bears yes, the burden most. You bear the burden and you mm. miss some years. Mm. I would like you to talk more yes. about that sector because the way you look, you mm. look very cool and balanced. It looks like you're approaching life very well. <laughs> How yes, are you that is another thing. Yes, you need to balance. Professional. Uh -huh. mm. I was coming to that. Mm. You need to learn how to balance your life. Mm -hmm. Again, as we say that, okay, wait a bit, first finish bachelor's, mm -hmm. and then maybe you're going to marriage. Yeah. But again, as you're going to marriage, you make sure you choose a partner mm -hmm. who, is, who will not let you down, who will not tell you, okay, keep your degree into your bags and cook. I'll provide everything. Mm. Mm. You have to look for a partner who will be supportive mm -hmm. and you don't have to stop mm -hmm. and you don't have to say that. Let me first finish my degree mm. before I give birth. Before you give birth. You can you balance. You need to learn all. how to balance mm. this. Of mm. course, you'll have some years lost. Yes. But at the end of the day, mm. you'll be happy when you, you have achieved. You have your husband there. You have the respect <coughs> and you have your children. Mm -hmm. Rather than again first saying let me first finish the PhD, then I start. Then I start the family. Because yes, some people have got challenges there. You think the PhD or the men are fearing you. They are like, no, this one is <laughs> not a doctor. Yes, like doctor, the doctor. And we cannot manage. She will not even wash for me clothes. Uh, but you know, if you've been with someone from when just when you all have when bachelors, you are nobody. Yes, mm -hmm. and then you build you, a career. Uh -huh, you build your career. Mm. He will give you the time and he will know it is you. Do not fear it's the that same now, person. Yes. Do not fear that now this one is a Has PhD. not changed, yes. Hey, I cannot even blame her or what. Ah. So some people who wait until they finish their PhD sometimes get challenges in balancing mm. family life. You mm. find it becomes hard to get partners mm. because sometimes you find a female professor, mm -hmm. they have never gotten married, they have never given birth. Wow. Wow, so, I don't think that's good life. Yeah, so it, yeah, yeah, so you see that you've achieved the other side, but you failed the other side. The Bible says everybody has a helpmate uh -huh, made for them. Yes. You, so I mean, every so woman balancing has a partner. Balancing is very important. Yes. Balancing is very important. Mm. Also, creating time for your family makes you happy. Mm -hmm. If yes, now that like this human. woman is woman is there, you playful tell tell him, please, can you also cook for me? Things like that. But now, if like you have, uh, have things like Valentine's Day, mm -hmm. say, oh, you have no day Valentine's Day, yeah, sit at it. <laughs> but now, if you don't have, you have the books, you are up there. Yes. You're <clears throat> impacting knowledge. Life you is not like fun. Like in we are mm. building for the future. <laughs> but then life is not fun. Yeah? So somehow, somewhere, something yes. is lacking. Wow. Yeah, so for you to be happy mm. in, in life, you try I aspire to, to be a doctor as well. You'll speak mm. to me and other girls who will come across this clip, <laughs> what we could do, how we can go about it, some of the values. But yes. before that, I would like you to discuss a little bit about the impact uh, that you feel you have made so far as a teacher mm. of students. Yes, as, as a teacher. Yeah, and all the things that you have done. What we are doing is to capture your leadership impact here and there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because we want women to go into these spaces. If you're in the science sector, what impact are you creating there as a woman? Yes, yeah. in the science sector, mm. of course, as a teacher, I'm producing knowledge. Knowledge. I'm, <laughs> I'm building for the future. Mm. Girls are graduating yes. into chemistry, industrial chemistry, mm. education. Mm. We, we teach, actually, we teach people with industrial chemistry, mm. we teach people doing education. We teach people doing Bachelor of Science flat and also Petroleum Engineering. That's a great people. One. Yes. Mm. So those are people who are, we are creating uh, human labor. Human labor. Yes. Human labor. Yes. Oh, human labor. That's a good job. <laughs> I think you enjoy it. <laughs> yes, we enjoy it. Yeah. We enjoy teaching and like, okay, even before I started teaching in the university, mm. I taught uh, secondary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I taught... Uh, <coughs> Because after my bachelor's, I did a postgraduate diploma in education. In education. Yes. So mm. 
I told secondary, senior four, senior six. Wow. So sometimes I meet those people. Some of them didn't come to do chemistry, mm -hmm. but they were in Makere doing other courses like uh, medicine mm -hmm. and what. Mm -hmm. And when you go to the hospital, you find your students. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they are happy to treat you. They treat you with dignity. Wow. You are considered first. Wow. So all those are pri yes, all That's those are well. privileges. And now I'm also into into research. Research. Yes, because I did my PhD research was on herbal medicine mm. used in treatment of malaria. Mm. Yes, so uh, we interacted with the traditional healers. Mm. They gave us the plants that they used to mm. treat mm. people. Mm. And why I gained interest in this particular research area was from personal experience. Because mm -hmm. as I told you, I grew up with my grandma. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And obviously as a child, you keep falling sick. Mm -hmm. But remember, she will not keep taking you to hospital. There would be something she would give yeah. you. Yeah, so she drink. would bring some green zip, boil, bombo, boil uh, and as you bathe, uh, you drink and that. When you have like cough, she gets leaves of a purple, which is just in the compound. She burns them, she gives you the ash. You leak. Mm -hmm. After one, two days, you're, you're okay. okay. Yeah. When you have malaria, she gives you the things. She, she makes concoctions and infusions. <laughs> cup, they are sour. <laughs> bitter. But you take <clears throat> one cup, they are bitter actually. You sleep, you sweat. And you wake up. You wake up and start playing. Mm -hmm. And you're okay. Yeah. You're not going to hospital, mm. but you're okay. Mm. From childhood, mm. she started taking care of me from year one up to when I reached 13 wow. years, wow. when I went wow. to wow. secondary. Mm. <clears throat> so I started doing things of using a lot of herbs. Western medicine when I joined mm. secondary. And in there's Ginger a lot now, of herbs in When I was country. living with my uncle. But with her, <clears throat> it was always those ones. Yeah. yeah. And they, you know, they don't have any side effects. So mm. that's mm. how I picked interest in that research area. Wow. So we interacted with, we interact with the healers. Mm. After, of course, there are some where research has already been done and they're on the market. Mm -hmm. Yes, actually, even the quinine we take is plant based. It is plant based. At methanine, wow. they are plant based. Wow. So, like these ones which have already been done, Mululu Zawat, I didn't do those mm. ones, but I went with them to get others. Mm -hmm. And indeed, I got some too because I interacted with the healers of Prometra, they are in Impiji, mm. and the others are in Bushe, in mm. Okararu. Mm. So after doing the scientific <coughs> work and proving them to mm. be efficacious, mm. I reported back to them and they are working upon producing wow. uh, products. So wow. <coughs> that is also an impact to society yes. because they will earn a living mm -hmm. from that and maybe in the future we can discuss about cost Production as, as well. Yes, mm. and production to So there is need to, to build our local knowledge and strengthen, yes. you know. Yes. There's a so, lot that Uganda has in terms of So as we are medicine. teaching, mm. and we are impacting knowledge, we are building for the future. Mm. At the same time, we're also doing uh, research, which is uh, traditional based. Oh, yes. So you see, it is chemistry. Building on our local knowledge. Yes. Mm. So we do the lab work to see what they are talking about, the compounds that are responsible for treating mm. and see whether we can identify that particular compound mm -hmm. and use it to make a, a herbal drug mm. or oh, they work in synergy when there are many and but then teaching them how to standardize wow yes wow i know we cannot exhaust this discussion with you i know a lot of work is happening in the science sectors the herbal medicine in uganda is in, in a revolution it's growing every other day and yes. people seem to be getting more reliant on it if you go to every Ugandan home, you'll find a herbal treatment there. Yes, even when they're they go. growing them with an in buckets. Yes, yes. So that is your work. Yeah, <laughs> that, that is my area. area. <laughs> yes, that's my area. Of that's research. your area. I would just mm. like you to share your life values, what has kept you going this far. Because your background is a typical one of an ordinary girl growing up and becoming a great woman and impacting in a sector that uh, everybody admires. So there could be some things that you do repeatedly, you know, values, lessons that a young woman, I know many aspire to become scientists as yourself. Yes. And me as a doctor, but in humanities, <laughs> what are those, you know? Yes, one of the values <clears throat> that a woman should have is discipline. Discipline. Yes. Ah. You have to have discipline. Mm. You have to respect people. Mm -hmm. 
because if you don't have discipline, mm. you much as you have the maybe the head, you think you're so bright. But these people give us scholarships. They want someone who is with a noble character. Mm. Now, if you are in this plant, you have uh, maybe well, while you were growing up, you had some bad manners. Actually, if you are in this plant, you won't achieve much. You can't go far. Yes, you can't go far. Obedience is important. Yeah, mm. obedience, discipline, mm. uh, hard work, mm -hmm. and consistency. Consistency. Mm. Why consistency? Because the moment you abandon one, you are actually for the sciences, like the way you learn how to drive a car, mm -hmm. or as you're driving a car. Mm -hmm. The moment mm -hmm. you look that way, you're going to know. Mm -hmm. So you have to concentrate mm -hmm. on the road, mm -hmm. and you're looking this way, you're seeing people in front, people behind. If you see that the other person is overtaking and is about to knock you, you go can't. aside. Yes. yes, but if you're not concentrating and you're not consistent, you will knock and mm -hmm. So for the sciences, you have to keep, now for us into research, you have to keep writing. Writing okay. is a hobby. Mm. So for you to be visible, you have to publish. You have to publish. So how will you publish when you're not writing, when you're not, when you're not consistent, and when reading. you're not in the lab, mm. when you're not thinking about something new? Because you have to keep thinking, you research, you have to bring something new on the board. You don't do what other people have done. Mm, mm. So for you to have that, you have to be consistent in whatever you're doing. You have to be disciplined. And then you have to be hardworking. You have to look around for these opportunities, the scholarships. They don't just come around. Mm. But now, right now, because I have a one-year-old baby, yes, the scholarships might be there but for postgraduate, mm. but I can't go for them because most of them, uh, abroad. Mm. You know, like in the chemistry sector and the science sector, you find that uh, some of the work that we do for research, we use sophisticated machinery, okay. which we don't have here. Mm. They are very expensive, mm. and even if we had them, maintaining them would be hard. Mm. They need uh, trained mm -hmm. technicians mm -hmm. and so on. Mm. They need constant power, of which our electricity is always on fluctuating and on and off. Mm. So you find that we do this research, but through collaborations. Actually, for the whole of my PhD, it was a, it was a, a sandwich mm. between Sweden, Stockholm, and Uganda. Wow. Makerere. Wow. Because I was doing some work in KTH mm -hmm. and Stockholm University, mm. also Uppsala University, because I had to test uh, my compounds on malaria parasites. That part, I did it in Stockholm University. Mm. In Uppsala, I was doing some using some NMR machinery, the same in KTH. So you find that if you're to achieve more, if I'm to do a lot of it, I have to move. And it has taken like six months, one year. So if you have a baby, sometimes it's not easy. Most of the scholarships don't support babies. Wow. And maybe the, the, the wow. maid wow. Wow. will help you to carry the baby. So. Okay. Those are some of the challenges, but uh, still, mm -hmm. you keep on, you insist. You keep working. You yes, keep you moving. keep working. As yes. you enjoy, you have to enjoy what you're doing. You have to love. enjoy what you're doing. Yes. And love it. And love have it. Have passion. Uh -huh, have I would passion. like you to say one final thing. We're in the Women's Month. Uh, what could you tell the women out there? And we'll sign off from there. Yes. Women's Month. Yes, Women's Month. This is Talking our month. Talking about women. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is our month. Yes. We should believe in ourselves. Mm -hmm. But when I say that we believe in ourselves, then again, I don't mean that it, since there is equality, we should step on our husbands, fathers, mm -hmm. brothers, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. cause chaos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We should learn to live in harmony mm -hmm. because we need each other. We need each other. Yes. Mm. So, but at the same time, we have to know that we, we can make it in life. And we should learn to be proud of ourselves. Mm. We mm. know we can achieve more. And we have so we may, so many women now in leadership. Mm. For example, right now in Uganda, our prime minister is a lady. The speaker is a lady. The, the, vice, president. the vice president is a lady. Now even those days they used to say... 30% of cabinet is women. Yeah, is women. Mm. And now even you can see in the science sector, us as lecturers, those days we used to have one, two women in the chemistry. Right now at our department, we have five ladies mm -hmm. there, and I know more are coming. There are ladies in math, there are ladies in physics, 
there are ladies in those biological courses, botan and zoology. Wow. So as women, we can. This is our math. We should have fun. And we should believe in ourselves. We yes, that believe. yes, we can. We should believe in ourselves. That's yes. what the doctor, the professor is saying. So every woman out there, you must believe in yourself that you can be able to do it, achieve, and excel. However, live in peace. With the, with the men, men. Yes. in harmony, because that's what society wants us to wants us to, to do. do. Yeah, so I've been uh, joined here uh, by Dr. Madina Adia, who has blessed me, a child from Mbulamuti, where the speaker, former, comes from. So there are great women who can be grown from that local level to where they are, and her life, her, her journey is a typical example of that. And uh, Going into sciences, moreover, not that uh, any other sector, but sciences and dominating it and training other people is such a blessing. Thank you so much, Doctor, for coming over, giving us these few minutes. I'm sure that this uh, conversation will bless someone, especially our generation that we are nurturing, which is younger than us. To yes. aspire better than we and have. also people who are studying in the villages, thinking that they, they can't cannot make, make it. it. Yeah. Yes. That's very important. Oh, from a poor school. From a poor background. Yes, yes, so yes. You can make it from anywhere. You can make it from anywhere. You only need to focus. You only need to focus. Yes. yes that's it from our doctor and myself, Monica Moding. Thank you so much. We'll meet at another program. Shalom.